Just over four light years from Earth, the glowing point in the celestial darkness has become the focus of deep curiosity. That point is Proxima b, a rocky planet orbiting the red dwarf Proxima Centauri. Shimmering through space, this world sits within its star's habitable zone, and its glowing presence has fascinated scientists. Though it mirrors Earth in size and composition, the atmospheric glow of Proxima b tells us it's no ordinary planet. Its host star is much cooler and dimmer, casting a faint but persistent radiance that barely lights up the nearby void. This subtle difference might allow liquid water to exist on the surface. But Proxima b is tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the light of the star while the other is stuck in eternal darkness. The bright side scorches under constant light, while the night side stays trapped in cold shadows, deep and unyielding. In between is the so-called twilight zone, a place of faint glow and mysterious promise. In this dim strip where light fades into shadow, temperatures may be just right for water to remain liquid. Scientists gaze through telescopes at this narrow band of balance, wondering if this sliver of twilight holds the key to alien life. Could gentle warmth and muted sunlight create the perfect setting for organisms to survive? The twilight zone blows as a beacon of hope, but the entire planet is still under cosmic threats. Proxima Centauri blasts Proxima B with powerful solar flares, radiating waves that pierce through the cosmic night. These flares release electromagnetic energy that can tear apart an atmosphere. Radiation from these flares flows like stellar lightning, potentially stripping the planet of gases needed for life. In this flickering exposure, the planet's skyline may shift rapidly, from clear to chaotic. Without a strong magnetic field, Proxima B stands vulnerable to the stellar bombardment. Despite this, the Twilight Zone remains an ASTROBIOLOGICAL hope. It may offer the only sheltered area, protected by angle and shadow, where water and possibly microbial life might find refuge. The James Webb Telescope recently observed a peculiar luminous pattern from Proxima B that sparked intense interest. These were unusual light emissions, not from the bright side, but from the dark hemisphere, an area usually buried in stillness. The signals blinked through the cosmic backdrop with odd regularity, as if timed. Their spectral shake puzzled astronomers who analyzed the ghostly light. Some scientists suggested volcanic activity could produce such emissions, possibly with blowing lava reflecting faintly into the void. Others thought auroras, driven by magnetic fields, could shimmer in the dark sky. But neither explains the consistent intensity observed by the telescope. That led some to propose a more thrilling explanation, could the signals be technological in nature? Could the steady blinking of energy sources imply the use of artificial systems? This possibility lit up the scientific community with a glow of speculative wonder. If the emissions are artificial, it could be evidence of intelligent life attempting communication or hiding behind the black curtain of Proxima B's night. Scientists began crafting theories about energy collection systems, thermal regulators, or even city lights faintly reaching out across space. Even if not artificial, the dark side lights push us to rethink planetary behavior. The planetary night isn't supposed to glow unless driven by deep geological or technological forces. This unusual visibility in total darkness makes Proxima B a cosmic puzzle. The tidal locking itself causes drastic weather patterns, with enormous winds swirling from hot to cold. These atmospheric storms could rage across the twilight zone, whipping through shadows with great force. Even in the most hopeful region, life would face perilous challenges. Yet Earth, our glowing blue beacon, is filled with life forms that thrive in extreme environments, from sunless ocean vents to freezing tundras lit by icy reflections. Perhaps Proxima b, under faint starlight and eerie twilight, could host something similarly resilient. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri dominate the galaxy. Their stability and slow-burning nature make them ideal targets for habitability, but their flares are fiery explosions in the void. The balance between danger and stability makes them both fascinating and feared. Webb's observations of Proxima b's atmospheric signatures have been sparse but revealing. Faint spectral lines suggest a fragile presence of gases, carbon dioxide, possibly water vapor. These shimmering traces flicker like ghostly fingerprints through the cosmic backdrop. But without a magnetic field to protect the atmosphere, solar winds may sweep it away. Radiative streams flow from the star, 
battering the planet's sky, thinning any barrier that could shelter life. In the glow of solar violence, atmosphere might vanish over time. This raises unsettling questions. How long has this atmospheric struggle gone on? Could Proxima B once have been more Earth-like, bathed in gentle light and thick with clouds? Or has it always been this stark, this exposed, this harshly illuminated? Still, the possibility of water, ice or liquid, is a source of hope. Webb's data detected water ice in the Terminator Zone, where light meets darkness. There, in that shifting band, the ice could melt and refreeze, offering a dynamic liquid cycle. Such a cycle could allow microbial life to flourish just beneath the surface. These pockets of water, hidden under thin crusts and touched by geothermal light, might become oases in the desolate twilight. In that dim luminescence, life could silently thrive. But the presence of water also brings further mystery. How has it survived the onslaught of radiation and solar wind? Is it ancient, preserved deep underground, or newly formed? Could subsurface currents be moving water silently beneath the surface? These questions fuel our celestial curiosity. We long to go there, to explore it not just with telescopes but with machines, and perhaps one day, even human eyes. Breakthrough Starshot has proposed tiny laser-driven probes that could reach Proxima B in just a few decades. These probes would ride beams of light, traveling faster than any current spacecraft. Once near Proxima B, they could send back images, revealing the surface textures, the twinkling lights, and perhaps a glimpse of life beneath the twilight clouds. Longer-term missions imagine humans arriving at this alien landscape, standing in the purple-orange blow of the twilight zone, where shadow and light never move. The silence, pierced only by wind and echo, would be haunting and historic. But such dreams raise ethical questions, too. Should we reach out to other worlds? Should we send machines to places that may host life, even if just microbes? The glow of discovery must not blind us to the responsibility that comes with interstellar contact. A planet without a magnetic shield suffers greatly. Earth's magnetic field is our invisible guardian, deflecting cosmic rays and preserving the atmosphere. If Proxima B lacks one, its surface may be lifeless, but below, the story could be different. Beneath its surface shadows, geothermal heat could warm hidden oceans. On Earth, similar dark water worlds host entire ecosystems, complete with strange blowing organisms that live without sunlight. Could bioluminescent life exist on Proxima B too? Exploring these depths would require advanced drilling systems, shielded from radiation and capable of piercing the planet's crust. Inside the silence of those underground caverns, life might blow in isolation, completely different from anything on Earth. And then there are the lights, the periodic emissions from the dark side. Their repeating nature feels unnatural. Some believe it may be electrical activity, but others see patterns too precise, too rhythmic, too deliberate. Could alien life be using energy grids, invisible in the daytime but glowing at night? Perhaps they're harnessing solar energy from the bright side, storing it, then releasing it in calculated pulses. It's a theory few dismiss entirely. Whatever the cause, those blinking luminous signals continue to stir wonder. They're not just lights, they're questions carved in the dark, asking who or what might live under Proxima B's sky. Are we seeing cities? Beacons? Machines? Dreams? Even if no life exists, the planetary structure itself is valuable. Its extremes mirror potential future scenarios for Earth if environmental balance is lost. Proxima B is a canvas on which we project both our fears and hopes. Reaching the planet, however, is another matter. It would take years or decades of travel, even at unimaginable speeds. The mission would have to survive intense radiation, unpredictable weather, and shadow-filled landscapes. But the payoff, if successful, would be historic. Even a single microbial discovery would reshape our understanding of biology, life's tenacity, and the galactic potential for ecosystems beyond Earth. That faint twinkle in the sky might hold our greatest answer. In studying Proxima B, we also study ourselves. We reflect on how Earth's balanced light, shielded by magnetic fields and wrapped in a thick atmosphere, made our own life possible. We see the stark contrast and wonder what makes our home so rare. Proxima B, in its contradictions, offers a mirror. 
It shows us how easily life's cradle could crack, how light can vanish, how shadows can overtake. Its existence is both hopeful and haunting, an echo of what might be. Webb's revelations have opened a new chapter in our search. Each beam of light analyzed, each flicker of data recorded, adds clarity to this glowing enigma. Proxima B's signal in the darkness reminds us that the universe is still alive with mystery. The dream of stepping foot on Proxima B drives us to innovate, to imagine spacecraft bathed in interstellar light, powered by hope and science. The future may see us standing under its sky, reaching out into the twilight wind. As long as that flicker exists, those lights blinking in the planetary dark, we will look, wonder, and dream. Our gaze will pierce the space between stars, searching for meaning in every glow, shadow, and signal from Proxima B. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.